A premature baby's development is unpredictable. Even when they get home, it's not always the end of their journey. Right, okay. All the way up the door. Oh, door. Innes was born at just 23 weeks. I'm going to go through to the doors. And spent the first four months of his life in Wishaw. That, not that door. No. No, not that door. I'm going to go this door. Into this door. Yes. Through the doors. Innes has regular checkups with Dr. Brown. Okay, so we'll have a look at your eyes there, will we, Mister? I'll get my special torch. Wishaw's consultant in paediatric ophthalmology. Oh, well, you know exactly what we're doing, don't you? Yes. Done it all before. Yes. Hey, look at you, sweet, sweet boy. Lots of laser, mm -hmm. which is what we want to see. Well, we're looking to check that basically the middle part of the eye is uh, healthy. Good boy. Great. Good. Lovely. Good. So the eye is just looking as we expected after having mm -hmm. the laser done. But okay. There's no new problems developing at this stage. So I think he's doing well. All right, so I'll put this on. Put this on. Good. Well, into it. All right. Okay. Right, thank you so good much. Good man, you're very okay. good. All right. Okay. Well done. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Ennis will be back at Wishaw for regular checkups for the foreseeable future. Very good. You can get something to eat. Right. Where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit at the table? For a while, it was almost like a second home. You were literally up every day, and then it became just appointments. And there was a, a really hard time when coming back after a gap was, was quite hard. But I think as time passes and we're here more, that actually that's kind of spacing things out. Unless you've been through it, I don't suppose folks really just understand the emotions of powerlessness that you have and the fears that you have. And I mean, this is two and a half years later and I'm still getting emotional just thinking about it. We remember and we have still contact with the folks that we were in with at the time. So that's good bonds and, and we've seen um, the characters develop in the children that, that have got home and... And we remember the ones that don't get home. And we remember how fortunate we are. We'll be forever grateful for all the love and care that we got from everybody in, in that team. And they became family for a while because you would see them every day, you would share your highs and lows with them. And that, you know, I will always remember that. And it's really hard, but it's been amazing to see him come home and our journey has changed. We have different challenges, but I'm fun too. Now it's a muffin. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah. Can I get a piece too? Am I getting a piece? Ah. Mm. That's a good boy. Thank you. No, we're not, gonna, we're not moving anywhere until that's done. 